In this video, you will learn how to generate this box and whisker chart in Microsoft Excel. It is also called box plot. So let's look at this data. You can see here I have three data sets which are different three months, January, February and March. And I have generated this graph using this set of data. And it, this graph shows the distribution of data. For example, I have manually cal calculate some values and you don't need to calculate these values because Excel automatically calculate these values and generate graph. For explanation purpose, I have calculated this one. You can see here that the whisker downside shows the minimum values. For example, this is the January and you can see the minimum value is 100 and it is also 100. The maximum value is 189 and you can see here January maximum value is 189. You can also confirm this from this set of data. Additionally, you can see here that in this box, the lower end shows the uh, first quartile are 25%. The middle line shows the median values and the upper line shows the third quartile are 75% percentile. So you don't need to calculate this table. Excel will automatically calculate and generate this graph. And if you want to manually calculate this value, you can also do so. For example, if you want to interested to calculate the quartile one value, you click on this cell, put equal sign, write quartile. Either you want in exclusive or inclusive, I will select quartile inclusive. Double click on it, select the data. For example, I want to calculate the quartile of March. After selecting this one, put comma sign and you will find different option. Either you want to calculate the minimum value, which is this one or you want to calculate the first quartile value, this one, or you want are interested to median value, which is this one. Similarly, you can calculate third quartile or maximum value. So you have to select which one you want to calculate. For example, in this case, I want, I am interested to calculate the quartile one value in March. So I will select this first quartile value, double click on it and press enter. You can see here it has calculated the 120 values of March for first quartile. So similarly, if you are interested for manually calculating this, you can calculate this one. So there is no need to calculate this one because Excel will automatically calculate and you just select this data and generate this graph using Excel. So let's learn how you can generate this graph using Microsoft Excel. In separate sheet, I have already entered this data. Just select this data. Go to insert tab and here you will find the option of insert statistic chart. Click on it and here you will find the option of box and whisker. Click on it. Now I will put it here, resize it. Now uh, go to this plus sign. And here you will find the op different options. I want to insert axis titles. So I will check this option. I don't want grid lines. So I will uncheck this option. And I am also interested to display legends. So I will also check this option. Now we will start the formatting of firstly axis values. And then we learn how to format these box and whiskers. So, Firstly, I don't want this one. I will select this one and remove it by pressing backscape button. Similarly, select this one and press backscape. Now, firstly, I will change the chart title. You can give any title to it. For example, I want to insert this title for demonstration purpose only. You can also change it using this method. Now I will change its font size. Next step is to format this axis.
select this one and change their font size and I will not bold it right click on it and you will find the option of format axis here you can adjust minimum or maximum value for time being I will not change this you can change this one you can also insert tick marks outside and outside now you can see here this is the axis option now go to fill and line option and here you will find the option of line click on solid line and change its width to 1.25 pt solid line is inserted here now close this one and click on it change its color bold and 12 you can also format it for example i will write here rainfall in millimeter Now if you want to change the format the legends click it and I will want to bold this one with black color. Now we will start formatting of this. Right click on it without selecting just right click and go to format data series. Here you will find different options show inner point if you are interested to show inner point you can check this option show outer outlier point show mean markers show mean line i will also check this option if you are not interested to show these one you can uncheck any of these options so here is the important option which is the quartile calculation either you want to uh, in inclusive median or exclusive median so you can uh, click on any option according to your requirement i will select inclusive median and here is the important option of gap width for example you can control the width of this box i will change it to 70 percent now go to fill and line option and i want a solid border around this so i will go to border option and select solid line and change its width to 1 pt with black color and in fill you can uh, select any color for example i want solid fill you can also gradient fills or even you can insert any picture i will select solid fill with this color color is fine similarly go to next one and select solid fill select color and in here go to solid line and black color is already selected and width is 1 pt go to this series option and you can check this option similar to other one and the quartile calculation is on the basis of inclusive median now click on third one and follow similar step select inclusive median and here go to fill and line option and solid fill with green color and solid line the width is 1 pt So by doing so we have completed the formatting of this graphs thanks for watching this tutorial goodbye